Welcome to the Kansas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers Virtual College Fair. My name is Jasmine. I'm going to serve as a facilitator for our session today. Before we get started, I have a few housekeeping announcements. The first, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our amazing presenters at any point throughout our session today. Second, your camera and microphone are off, so we are not able to see or hear you. Third, um, our third point here is that this is just one of many different sessions that we're offering, so feel free to visit our registration site to sign up for additional sessions. And finally, this presentation is being recorded and you will have access to that recording within about a week or so. With that said, I hope you enjoy the college fair for today and I'm gonna introduce our first presenter. Our first presenter for our session today is Barn Community College. Hi guys, let me start by sharing my screen with you. Last time I forgot to do this piece and I was really embarrassed. <laughs> Okay, so my name is Emily Spickler. I'm an admissions representative at Barton Community College, and I'm going to tell you a little bit today about what BCC has to offer. So getting started, maybe, maybe. Here we go. Um, you may be wondering where Barton is if you have not heard of us before. So our main campus is located in Great Bend. We are about an hour from Hayes, an hour and 20 from Salina, or two hours from Wichita. We also have campuses at Fort Riley, Grandview Plaza, and Fort Leavenworth. We have 138 majors to choose from. That's a lot. So hopefully a little bit for everybody. That's gonna include our transfer options. So those are things you think of that are like education, agriculture, athletic training. That's where you complete your first two years with us. So you do your freshman and sophomore level credits, and then you take those credits and then you transfer them to a four-year college or university and complete your bachelor's degree. Then we also have a 27 hands-on technical options. So this is just a little bit different. Not all jobs require a bunch of schooling. So these are certificates where you earn these in a quicker amount of time. So it's not always a two or four year option. And once you complete the certificate, you're done. You have all your skill set, and you will go apply for those jobs. So for instance, welding is 16 credit hours. Once you complete those, you go apply for welding jobs. Switching gears, we're gonna talk a little bit about athletics. My personal favorite, I'm a big sportsy girl. I love March Madness. This time of year is like my Christmas. So 23 athletic programs on our campus, which is the most amongst any two year community college in the state. We also house the most national championships, which I love. We added esports this year. We added bowling last year. We're the only two year school to have a swim team. So we have a pool on campus, which is really cool. The only one that is mainstream that we don't have on this list over on your right, that's gonna be football. Some other people in our conference do have it, but not us, maybe someday. If you're not so sportsy, that's okay. We still have options for you. I still think getting involved is the best thing that you can do to greatly enhance your college experience. And just think too, the more you participate in, the more opportunities for scholarships. So some of these would be um, our cheerleaders, yell leaders, mascots, jazz band, pep band, hilltop singers, that's our show choir. All of those have scholarships involved. So just keep that in mind. All of our scholarships stack on top of each other. So hopefully we can bring down your cost considerably for your first two years. Speaking of cost, this is our 2020-21 information. Actually going into next year, it's been approved to stay the same. It's not gonna go up, which is amazing because usually we always see a trend of it going up. I'm gonna focus on the 118 cost. That's for in-state and district would be if you are in Barton County. But this cost here, this total of 10,279, that's gonna be our in-state cost. And that's gonna be based on about 15 credit hours per semester, 12 as a full-time student. But that 10,000 number is going to include your books, your tuition, your housing, and a meal plan, all in that cost there. Don't let it scare you. I know we're cheaper than some places, but $10,000 is still a lot. So let's talk about bringing that down, hopefully considerably. So last year we gave over $11 million in financial aid, which is a bunch of money. So we hope that you will fall into this Barton Bounce Scholarship. This is for 
first time college students from the state of Kansas. So seniors, listen up. If you haven't paid attention to anything that I said, this is the most important slide I feel that I have. So this is based on your cumulative GPA or composite ACT score. It's not both. So it's whatever gives you the highest awarding amount. So if you have a 2.5 cumulative GPA or a 22 composite ACT score, you're going to qualify. And how you get this, you have to apply for admission by May 1st, May 1st which is right around the corner and our admissions application is free. It takes about 10 minutes to do and I can always get you that information if you need it, just let me know. So this top one, if you have a 3.6, you'll get your books and tuition paid for, which would cut down your cost from the jump by nearly half. So it's kind of a big deal. But if you have any questions on how, or if you qualify for this, jump on the chat. I'm also gonna give you my cell phone number in just a moment. So jot it down if you wanna ask me any questions. Also, I think, you know, if Wharton might be the right fit for you, you, any of this intrigues you, I think coming on a campus visit is probably the best thing that you can do, even for any of these schools that are represented here today. Go see them and see if you feel at home, if you vibe with the campus. So we offer personalized campus visits between Monday through Friday, anytime between 8.30 and 3 p.m., I'm going to shimmy down here. You can see where to sign up if you'd like to come see us. I'll sit down with you. An admissions rep will sit down with you. You'll chat with an advisor. You can also meet with any of the coaches or any departments that you're interested in and really get a feel and see if this is for you. Also, juniors, we have a junior day coming up. That's right around the corner on April 14th. We're giving away $3,000 in scholarships. Also, some prizes, t-shirts. It'll be a really fun day. So hopefully, we'll see you there for that too. Lastly. This is all of our admissions reps. Feel free to jot my number down. I'm there in the middle. I know I was super shy in high school and you couldn't get me to even go through a drive through to order food. So if you wanna write down my number, send me a text if you have questions or any of us would be more than happy to help. I hope to meet you soon. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Barton Community College. Up next, we have Fort Hayes State University. Hello everyone, my name is Katie Heinemann. I'm gonna get the uh, my screen shared here real quick so that we can get that started for you. So the first thing I wanna tell you about Fort Hayes State University is that we are located in the western half of the state of Kansas. Fort Hayes State University is located on I-70 and we are gonna be on your way if you're headed to Colorado. So some of you who might've gone to Colorado once or twice before and gone on I-70, you would have passed Hayes, Kansas. The thing we wanna start with is that Hayes is the right size for you. We have about 15,000 total students enrolled, but that's not how many we have on campus. On campus students, we only have about 4,500. This makes your class sizes a little bit smaller. So there, our average class size is 20 to 25, with a 17 to one student faculty ratio. So we are the right size for you. Fort Hayes State University has five different colleges. We have majors ranging from education to nursing to health and human performance, maybe doing a pre-professional degree all the way to physics or construction management. So we have a ton of different things available for students right away. Fort Hayes State University does hands-on things. We have our university farm that's just down the road from us. So if you're interested in agriculture or something along those lines, you would be able to do that. Hands-on experience right away. If I have not talked about a major, but you're wanting to do something, please in the bottom right-hand corner, you will see fhsu.edu backslash majors dash minors. That'll show you a whole list of what Fort Hayes has to offer here. Fort Hayes State University does have the lowest tuition rate in the state of Kansas for a four-year university. Our total um, cost for the year will be $14,429.20. We break that up into three different costs. You got your tuition and fees, which is $5,449.20. This is for 30 credit hours for the whole entire year. It breaks down if you do half, that'll be half for the fall, half for the spring and that is for 15 credit hours. To be a full-time student, you only have to take 12 credit hours or 24 hours in a year. So that 5,000 might even be a little bit lower because you aren't taking as many credit, as many, many credit hours. So it's solely based upon how many hours you are taking. The middle row you see there, it's $8,374. 
This is for McMinus Hall with the open access meal plan. I will a little bit later on talk about some different other housing that we have available on campus, but this is where most incoming full-time freshmen live and the open access meal plan is the one that we tell students to get. The last on your right there is 606 and that's an estimation on what we think you'll spend on our books and supplies for a total, like I said, about $14,000 a year. I know that sounds like a really big number, but we have a great scholarship program to help you combat those costs. So right now you see the four different tiers that we have in our automatic freshman scholarship. The way you will be able to get these is by your GPA and ACT. We do super score. So you guys have between, um, uh, you will have until June 30th of 2021, if you are a senior, you have until June 15th of 2022 to get us your ACT score. And like I said, we do super score and we will also accept that SAT as well. For GPA, we look at your six semester transcript, which is the end of your junior year, your seven semester transcript and your eight semester transcript. So it's solely based upon those three GPAs that we look at. Right now, if you guys haven't already, please get out your phones and scan that QR code so that you can see if there is a scholarship available for you for your scholarship estimator. We also have this brand new scholarship that I am so happy to talk about today. We have our Schmidt Foundation Scholarship. It is going to be a full ride scholarship available for first time incoming freshmen. We are looking for five new students. And if you would like to know more information about it, please visit our web link below. We also have a couple different other scholarships that we like to talk about. Our access to academic opportunity grant, which is either a $2,000 or $4,000 scholarship, as long as you meet the criteria. We also are partnership with the Rudd Foundation. So it's us, Emporia, and Wichita who are with that foundation. And then we also have general scholarships. So for you juniors out there who maybe have not started thinking about colleges, it's a good time to start now because our scholarships open up in September and you will then be able to fill out those general scholarships as well as try to get those automatic scholarships as well. The next thing I kind of want to go into is our different housing. Um, the first two that we have available that we normally talk about for incoming freshmen is Victory Village and McMindus. McMindus is gonna be that general one we talked about earlier and Victory Village is for our learning communities. There are groups of 14 to 28 students. We then wanna go into our um, sports that we have available. We have eight collegiate men and women's team. We are division two. So we play people like Missouri Western, Missouri Southern, Pittsburgh, Emporia, and any game that's on campus is free for students to attend. We also have over 120 clubs and organizations. The one we have um, that we show right here is our eSports. Our eSports club does have scholarships available. So if any of you are interested in that, please feel free to reach out to us. We also have, um, if we don't have a club that you're interested in, please feel free. Um, you can get five people and a faculty staff member together and um, you can make your own club. We would like for you to come visit us. Um, during the year, we will do in-person visits. We're doing um, tours currently. We're doing academic departments and visiting with an admissions counselor. Lastly, we would like for you to hit us up on social media um, and we would be glad to help you out with anything else. Please like, follow, and share. We hope to see you soon. Thanks. Thank you, Fort Hay State University. As a reminder, feel free to drop your questions in that Q&A section. Our next presenter is Newman University. Oh, trying to screen share. Hi, everyone. Um, my screen's gone all frozen. Okay. Okay, can y'all hear me? My screen kind of went frozen for a sec. We can. Okay, awesome. Hi, everyone. My name is Emily Lurkin. Um, I'm an admissions counselor at Newman University. Um, just tell you a little bit about myself. I actually graduated from Newman in 2020, so um, I believe enough in it that I came back to recruit students. I have two degrees, one in communication journalism and one in theater, so um, I had the opportunity to do a lot of things at Newman. I was also student body president last year. I was part of our newspaper, The Vantage. I was part of the honors program. Um, that's one thing I like about uh, that small school atmosphere is that you can do a lot of different things. You don't just have to be 
the girl who does tennis or the girl that does journalism. You can do a little bit of everything. A little bit more about Newman University. We're a small liberal arts college. We have about 1,200 undergraduate students and 11 to one student to faculty ratio. So you're definitely going to get that personalized attention. I know it's kind of cliche, but you're not just gonna be a number at Newman. Your professors are gonna know your name, where you're from, what your goals are. If you have any cats or dogs at home, they're gonna to wanna to know their names too and see pictures. So it's definitely that close community. We do have an average class size of 18, which has been very helpful during COVID. We've been able to say, stay mostly in person with a hybrid option. So we're able to space out a little more. We are located right here in Wichita, Kansas. And so it's actually Kansas's largest city by population, which I think is pretty cool because I'm from a small town. So coming to Wichita was nice because there were actually things to do. But then when you come back to Newman, it's kind of that smaller community, so you can still make friends and not be alone. We are a Catholic college, but you don't have to be Catholic by any means. About 41% of our students are Catholic. Um, we are named for St. John Henry Newman and founded by a group of sisters called the Adorers of the Blood of Christ. They're like the sweetest grandmas ever. They do like spaghetti suppers for our students and ice cream and all of those things. And so they founded us back in 1933. Uh, we are known for our students having 20% less college loan debt than the national average. I don't know about you, but that was big for me. Um, cost was really a, a huge factor in deciding a school because uh, I didn't really have like a college fund or anything like that. And so um, that's one of the reasons why I chose Newman. Um, we also have a high employment rate. So 71% of our students are employed in their field of study upon graduation versus the national average of 27. That's huge. I'm not just recruiting you to be a Newman student. I'm recruiting you to be a Newman graduate who can go out and get a job in a field that you're passionate about. So you wake up every morning and you feel like you're transforming society like our mission says. So a lot of our students will get their jobs um, in March or April of their senior year. I got this job literally the week before COVID hit and like the world ended, so to speak. Um, and so I was very fortunate there, um, but I'm not the exception. There's a ton of different students that'll get jobs around the, that time as well. We have over 40 different undergraduate programs. Some of our biggest ones are science pre-med, nursing and allied health, um, education, because that's what we were founded on, um, sports communication and our different business programs. If you notice, none of those programs I mentioned were my programs. So we definitely have a variety of different programs for all different types of people. We also have 11 pre-professional programs. Some of the biggest ones are that pre-medicine, like I spoke of before, pre-physical therapy and pre-law. One of my friends who graduated with the honors program for me, or with me from the honors program, um, she actually got a full ride to Notre Dame School of Law. So I'm looking here, she's gonna be my future lawyer. So maybe some of you can be my future chiropractor, future physical therapist and all those things. Um, there are a few misconceptions around Newman. One is that it's hard to apply. We were actually the first school in Kansas to become test optional back in 2019. So we only need your high school transcript to be able to accept you to the university. So that's really nice. I know it's been hard to get in to take those ACT and SATs around this time of year. We also have rolling admission. So I could accept you tomorrow. I could accept you the day before school. Um, I would recommend tomorrow, <laughs> it makes it a bit easier, but um, if you get toward those uh, last few months of the summer and you're still looking for university, we can work to accept you. And the last thing, we recruit for fit. So if you're looking for a bigger university that's not in the Midwest, that's D1, Newman's probably not the right fit for you, and that's okay. I'll work to make sure that you're the right fit for Newman and Newman's the right fit for you. Another misconception, you know, private and Catholic can sometimes equate with expensive. We try to make that not so. So part of that's our free application. And then the fact that 99% of our students receive some sort of financial assistance. Um, every one of our students receives a scholarship based on their GPA or ACT, um, based on admittance. So um, when you're admitted, we just need your GPA, but if you have a higher ACT, we'll take that anywhere from 12 to 16,000. We also have special scholarships for juniors and below. So our St. Newman scholarships for full tuition and our ASC Community Leader Scholarship is for um, $17,500 um, per year. We also have special scholarships for interests based on art, theater, and the honors program, like I talked about before, and also music. 
we are an NCAA Division II school, so we're actually in the same conference as Fort Hayes, so we'll play Fort Hayes and all of the different schools that they mentioned as well. We have 18 different athletic teams, so since we are Division II, we can give big athletic scholarships and um, big academic scholarships, so that's something to point out as well. Um, our first time hall is Kurochi Hall, so it's suite style, so you just have one roommate and two suite mates along with that, and so you have your own bathroom, which I really underestimated the power of having your own bathroom until I came to college. Um, I would recommend getting involved at Newman. We have 35 plus different clubs and organizations and over 375 different events. Um, we also have Navigator, which is one of our new programs um, based on career development and hands-on learning. We also have our first to go program, which empowers first generation college students like myself to turn our dreams of graduating college into a reality. So it's a great program if you haven't been to college before, or you don't know anyone who has been to college in your family. Um, and so the last thing I will say is that you can apply today. Like I said, our application's free. We do have rolling admissions. So just go to apply.newmanu.edu to apply. I'll put my contact information and where you can go to do our visits as well um, in the chat. And yeah, go Jets. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is Missouri Southern State University. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jennifer Shaw. I'm an admissions counselor here at Missouri Southern. I am the only Missouri Southern, or actually the only Missouri school uh, in this particular area this morning. Um, so let's get started. Missouri Southern is located in Joplin, Missouri. It's just a short drive just across the border from Kansas. We sit uh, really on the border of what they call the four states area. So Kansas, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and we make up that, that area. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty easy drive from the Wichita area. It's about three hours. It's about two and a half hours if you're on the Kansas City side. Um, so we're, we're relatively an easy drive. Missouri Southern uh, currently offers our students over 140 different program options. Um, they are taught by professors who not only have experience in the classroom, but they bring experience from the outside as well. Many of them still work in their particular fields of choice. For example, our um, one of our criminal justice instructors, Dr. Wilson actually is a blood splatter expert. So he's able to teach his students um, how to do that. And he's actually been featured on some television shows as well. So it's pretty cool. Um, they bring that experience into the classroom and that helps our students get the, you know, the culmination of both, which is kind of the creation of the perfect world for you as a student, helps you be successful in the classroom, successful in your career, and successful in life. Missouri Southern also believes in immersive learning. We want you to have that hands-on activity. We want you to be able to, uh, to learn that way. And so our top five current majors are biology, business, criminal justice, health sciences, and teacher education. Here on the screen, you can see a variety of different options for, for our hands-on classroom experiences. And there are many, many more than what I can show you in this presentation. Uh, in the one particular uh, area where the light is shining, they're looking at blood splatter in our crime scene investigation lab. In the middle picture is our industrial engineering technology lab where they have robotics and all kinds of um, really cool tools that you will get to learn and build your own products on. You will also see EMT paramedic we are one of the only schools that offers a uh, actually a bachelor's degree in EMS paramedic. So um, that's something to consider. We also have a cadaver lab on campus, which is really great for our pre-med students. Um, in the middle, you can kind of see theater there. They are learning how to properly sword fight for their theater productions. And then on the other corner, you can see uh, one of our students in the dental hygiene lab. So there's an, a lot of opportunity for you to get your hands-on experiences here at Missouri Southern. Missouri Southern is also dedicated to our student, students and we want you to succeed. We offer a variety of different services to you as a student. Um, our advising counseling testing office works with students who may not, you know, you may be undecided and that's okay if you don't know what you wanna do. Ags will work with you. They also have licensed counselors. So if you're struggling, you need somebody to talk to, you can make an appointment and they will help you. Our career services office is an excellent place to go. Uh, not only to gain experience for, um, you know, job search, whether it's an application, a resume, cover letter, any of that type thing, uh, but it's also a great place to go if you want to work on campus as they have a higher online site, which generally has two to 300 job postings on it. Uh, first year experience is there for you if you're an incoming freshman, they will help guide you along the way. 
Student Success is there to help you as well. There's a variety of different options up there. If you'd like to be a tutor and help other students, you can. Or if you need just a little bit of extra help yourself, they can help you out with that. If you are currently a member of a TRIO program, such as Upward Bound or Talent Search, we have a Project Stay uh, office here on campus. It's very similar to that and offers similar services. We also have a Lion Co-op. So if you need uh, food or toiletries, they have those available. Student life at Missouri Southern is pretty active, even though uh, with COVID, um, they've had to kind of kind of uh, scale back a little bit, but we are still doing different activities here on campus. To apply for admissions at Missouri Southern, actually to qualify to be admitted, you have to have one of three items. Either have a 21 on your ACT or SAT, be in the top half of your class, or have at least a 2.25 GPA. If you meet one of those requirements, then you'll be admitted to the university. The admissions process is fairly simple. Go on our website at msu.edu, uh, click the apply button and run through the student, uh, the prompts. On the fee waiver section, if you'll put that you attended the fair today, we will waive the fee for you. Um, estimated fees at Missouri Southern for students who do not live on campus, we offer a program called Lion Pride Tuition, which as an out-of-state resident will give you, since you live in Kansas, you will receive automatic in-state tuition, and a semester without housing is going to run about $4,080. Housing, you can kind of see here on the screen quickly uh, what that will cost, and it will depend on the type of dorm room that you choose and the type of meal plan that you choose as well. Uh, we are having new dorms built, and they will be open in the fall of 2021. So if you would like to sleep in one of the 301 new beds that are over there, be the first person in that bed, uh, now is your opportunity to sign up and do that. Financial Aid at Missouri Southern, we have started a brand new scholarship program for the fall of 2021, which I am super, super excited to present to you guys. It's called Moso Merit. It's based off of your ACT score and your um, SAT score and your GPA. So you can look and see where you're at and see if you qualify for one of those scholarships. Additionally, we offer competitive scholarships, which you can see here on the screen. And then if you're interested in the honors program, there are scholarships available there as well. Um, we do have a new program called Global Leaders that is designed for students who qualify for that MOSO Premier level, which is the $5,000 scholarship level. Um, on there, you can see here on the screen information about that, and you can also find information on our website or contact me if you have questions. It's a really, really great program, and it will give you an additional $4,000 in scholarship funds if you're interested in applying. The deadline for that is April 1st. So become the next lion today. We hope to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Missouri Southern State University. Our next presenter is Garden City. All right, guys, let me just get my screen share going. Okay, can you see my screen? We can. Okay, awesome. So good morning, everyone. My name is Samantha Garcia, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about our institution, Garden City Community College, and how to become a part of Buster Nation. So like I said, my name is Samantha. I am the Assistant Director of Admissions at JCCC. On our staff, we also have our Director of Admissions, Sydney Sassman, and Kelsey Bradford is our Campus Tour Coordinator. So here's an overview of our presentation. Um, feel free to send us any questions through the q and I'm gonna be talking a little bit about our admissions process, cost of attendance and scholarships, degrees and certificates, athletics and activities, and residential life. So a little bit about Garden City and GCCC. We are located in Southwest Kansas. Um, we have about 2,600 students enrolled. Our student to faculty ratio is 16 to one. We have 48 different programs and majors on our campus, and we award about $1.5 million in scholarships every year. So here you can see what steps you need to complete to be ready for enrollment in the spring, summer, or fall. Seniors, we are an open admission college, so once you apply, you are accepted. You don't need any specific ACT scores or GPA to get in our college. You can also see our tuition and fees. So we do offer um, Kansas residents um, tuition, border state, out of state, international, and we also have online classes. Our e-textbooks are included in our student fees, which is really nice. Um, that does save you a couple hundred dollars from buying textbooks but students can get physical textbooks if they want to from our bookstore for about seven bucks. Um, 
Below you can see an estimated cost of attendance for an entire year at Garden City Community College. So you can see your tuition and fees, housing and meals, However, freshmen are not required to live on campus. Um, and then you can see your annual total there at the bottom. This does not include any scholarships or financial aid. So do keep that in mind. At GCCC, we have a, little, a lot of different scholarship opportunities. Um, so our first one are our academic scholarships. So these are awarded based on cumulative high school or college GPA, and they're awarded on a first come first serve basis. So the application has been open for a couple months now. We highly recommend students to go ahead and fill that out if they haven't already. And you can see the amounts you can qualify for here on my screen. We also offer work study positions to all students on campus. Um, you can work part time for $9 an hour and work up to 15 hours a week, and you can earn up to $4,700 a year, which is really awesome. We also have athletics and activity club scholarships, um, and I'll talk a little bit more about those later on in the presentation. At GCCC, we offer traditional academic programs and technical programs. So students can receive their associate's degree with us and transfer to a four-year institution, or they can receive a certificate through one of our technical programs and go straight into the workforce. Um, so our John Deere program was recently recognized as a Platinum Award recipient um, by the John Deere Corporation. And our nursing program was also recognized as being in the top 100 nursing programs in the seven state plains region. We do offer dual credit classes. So those of you students who will still be in high school next year, you can take classes through us. Um, just contact your counselor or you can contact our outreach coordinator um, and we'll get you set up with those classes. We also offer online classes to students. So if you're not ready to come to campus just yet, um, we do offer those classes. And like I had mentioned, they're $150 a credit hour. These are the different athletic programs that we have on our campus. Um, so we do have a little bit of everything and we also have esports like a lot of the other schools mentioned today. Um, so if you are interested, we highly recommend you to come on a campus visit because that's the way that you can get to talk one on one with the coaches about scholarship opportunities and any tryouts. We do have a lot of different student organizations and clubs on our campus as well. Um, so if you are interested, again, we recommend coming on a campus visit and we have had students sign scholarship offers then and there when they're here on their visit. We do offer residential life to students. And like I mentioned, first time freshmen are not required to live on campus. However, we do have that available for them. Um, the rates that you see here are for the entire year and it does include the cost of the meal plan. Students not living on campus are also available um, or are also able to enjoy our full service cafeteria and you can kind of see the perks of living on campus here on your screen too. So we have in room wireless internet access, um, full service cafeteria, free laundry facilities, which is really nice and you don't have to worry about any extra utility or cable bills. So we are doing on-campus in-person visits. If you are interested, you can scan the barcodes here. Um, we schedule campus visits Monday through Friday all year long. Um, so if you are interested, feel free to give us a call or email us. And if you do have any questions, you can scan the QR code here. Send us any questions in the Q&A. We're here to help you guys out um, through this college journey. So thanks for your time and have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Garden City Community College. Our next presenter is North Central Kansas Tech College. Hello, everyone. My name is Brianna, and I am one of the admissions counselors here at NCK Tech. If you have any questions during this, please put them in the Q&A section. And we have Alyssa here. She will be available to answer those as we go along. So NCK Tech is a fully accredited uh, college, technical college located in North Central Kansas, as the name suggests. Um, our main campus is in Beloit, and it's just an hour north of Salina, but we also have a campus in Hayes as well, uh, which is a bit of a larger town than Beloit. We do offer over 20 different programs of study, um, and we are nationally ranked in job placement and high graduation rates, which is super exciting. Um, and we have a job placement guarantee, which means that if you go through one of our programs, you will be guaranteed to get the job. 
Um, and each of our programs can com be completed in only one to two years. So it's much shorter than you would do at a four-year university, um, but you can also do just one year or two years. We offer a range of different internships um, and certificates depending on the program that you're interested in. And we, have, we offer an associate's degree as well. So all of the programs that we offer are geared towards hands-on learning. And for example, if you were in a construction program, you would physically build a house each year, and then you get to see it from the blueprints all the way till they're selling the house and moving it to the new location. And you'd get to see it around town. If, if someone buys it, you can go show people, hey, I built that house. And it's really exciting to be able to show people what you've physically done with your own hands. We're also one of the few colleges that offer live work. And we, uh, for example, if you were in the auto, uh, auto collision program, diesel, ag, auto tech, you would be able to work on cars and equipment from real clients. So this offers more responsibility, but also uh, you have that satisfaction of knowing that you've, you've helped people out and uh, you get confidence from doing real work and training for when you actually go out and get a job. Many of our students also want to run their own business. So this is the perfect place to get the necessary business plans worked out in our business management program. So we currently have some who say they're, they're doing uh, culinary, but they also combine it with business. Then they would, um, they would be able to open their own food truck one day um, and they're, they're making the business plans now. So no matter what you choose, we guarantee you'll get the job upon completion of the program. Um, there are usually about 10 students to one instructor. instructor. So we've got plenty of different learning services available um, and we make sure that you succeed. We, want, we have instructors who care about you and uh, they want to get you connect, connected with their, those job opportunities. Um, we also have one of the best uh, nursing programs in the state and um, we have a really good welding program. So anything, uh, if you're interested in any of those, we also have them all listed on the website. You can look at them more in depth there. Um, so all of our programs are uh, hands-on and they're based from uh, the high demand trades um, that are usually paying very well. So we also offer internship opportunities that, that lead to jobs. And all of our students are um, able to be well-rounded as they're getting the training, uh, they're getting the experience, um, and they have one-on-one -on -one time with instructors. And uh, each of the programs are short, so, so we want you to get out into the workforce quickly, um, and we'll provide all the instruction and tools that you would need to succeed in the workplace. Um, we have plenty of things happening on campus, and we, have, uh, we offer on-campus housing, but you could also live off campus if you'd like. We have an incredible dining center um, with really good food. And if you've ever heard of the Freshman 15, we can just say that you will probably gain some weight here. You won't go hungry. Um, we have a wellness center and inside that there's a track, um, weights equipment. We have different exercise uh, programs. We have a spinning class, um, racquetball court, we also have a full-size pool with a jacuzzi. We offer tons of different intramural sports. Currently, we're doing um, dodgeball, pickleball. Uh, we're going to do some, um, some different things there. And then we have different clubs and activities going on. So you could be a part of the FFA club. And also, um, the, we have a, a shooting sports club that just got started this year. And then we also have a gateway program. So we actually partner with Fort Hayes University. If you were on our Hayes program, um, you would be able to do all the activities and events that Hayes works with as well. We also have a student success center. So if you need any resources, we're always helping students out um, with resources like that. And then for our tuition and fees, we have, it's pretty standard, just like everyone else's. Um, we, we have everything listed on the website. Um, we offer everything you would need to stay um, in courses there. 
we have plenty of different scholarships um, and you can just ask any of us if you need help with that um, and apply early, work on that. And then the best thing you can do is just come visit us. We'd love to have you um, on a tour. So thanks so much for listening and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you. So with that said, that concludes the presentation portion of our session for today. But I would like to encourage all of our amazing presenters to return. Feel free to turn your cameras on um, and we will move into the Q&A. Um, to all of our amazing attendees, feel free, any questions that you you have for any college, feel free to drop those in the Q&A section. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and pose our first question, and our presenters will respond in the order in which they present it. So our first question is, what is your favorite event or tradition on campus? I'm up first. Again, I'm Emily from Barton Community College. My favorite event, I've been here at Barton for four years, is the Hutch and Barton rivalry. No matter what sport it's in, it's so fun, especially the men's basketball. I'm a big basketball person, but all the fans get into it. They take paper and throw it up in the air like you see at KU basketball games in the student section. It's just the best fun. And to see all the students there and enjoying it, oh, I love it doesn't get any better. I would have to say for Fort Hayes, um, there's a lot of traditions that we really enjoy. But for me personally, it's it's honestly seeing the uh, we what we call TGOF or Tiger Gear on Friday. It used to be Tiger Gold on Friday, but we've changed it. And so just seeing the amount of people um, on our Fort Hayes campus and around town where their tiger gear on Friday, there are special discounts for people. And it just, it really brings a sense of community between Fort Hayes and Hayes itself. That would be mine. Hi, again, I'm Emily from Newman University. Um, one of my favorite traditions as a student and now being a staff would be Jet Friday. So every Friday you can go to our student center and as long as you wear some sort of jet apparel, so uh, it could be a t-shirt, it could be a lanyard, even if you have a pen on your backpack and you can get free donuts from a variety of different places. Like we do like Paradise Donuts, um, Lamar's is one of my favorite. And so they're like good quality donuts um, and coffee and you get to just chat with, uh, you know, different staff members and other your peers and the faculty outside of class, which is nicer because they're a little different outside of class. And so I love that even now. Um, one of my favorite traditions at Missouri Southern is when we welcome students back to campus. Uh, we do a big event for the first two days of the fall semester and then for the spring semester. So yes, we stand outside in the ice and the cold and sometimes it's fun. Um, actually, it's always fun because it's nice to see new life and it's nice to welcome the, the students back on campus. Uh, this past in the spring in January, uh, the president and his wife handed out hot chocolate to our students and we also handed out masks. So it's just a fun time to connect and, and really uh, get that refreshment for the semester. I'd say a favorite tradition or event on our campus is homecoming. Um, so we're really happy that we got to celebrate homecoming um, this past weekend since we didn't have a lot of our fall sports. Um, there's a lot of activities going on during the week. And then of course the big game um, and the homecoming candidates and everything. So that's always a really exciting time on our campus. Uh, here at NCK Tech, we have an incredible activities director and she's always putting out new events and things for our students to get involved in. Um, one of the recent ones that I really enjoyed was we had during Halloween, we had a pumpkin, car pumpkin carving and destroying contest. So each of the different programs had to create their own pumpkin carving and then also a way to destroy it. So um, auto collision, they blew theirs up with an airbag. Um, nursing did a whole Grey's Anatomy scene on their pumpkin. So they just get so creative with everything that they do. And I think my favorite part about it too is just each program is so proud of what they're doing and they're excited about what they're learning. So just to see the, the passion in each of their projects just with the pumpkin is just, it's so fun. Um, so that's probably one of my favorites recently. 
Nice. Thank you all for sharing um, that information. I have another question here. So again, you will order, um, you will respond in the order in which you present it. Um, but the question is, can you give an interesting or fun fact about your school? Yes. Um, so actually, we have tunnels underneath our campus, which is kind of cool. I've seen them once they sound cooler than kind of what they seem like, but it's just a, a tunnel. If you've been in a tunnel, but still fun fact. And then we also have a gun range um, underneath. That's how you get to it. And our criminal justice students use that a lot, but it's pretty cool. I hadn't seen a, a gun range before. So I was like, oh, that's neat. Cool. Um, for Fort Hayes specifically, um, we actually get our name because there's an act actual fort in Hayes, Kansas. So if you go there south of where Fort Hayes, where we're located here, there's an actual fort that we are named after. So I always think that's a really cool thing that Fort Hayes has to, has in our history anyways. So one cool thing about Newman is we have the only private collegiate triathlon team in Kansas. So like, you know, they bike, they run, they swim, they do all the things. It's not necessarily my thing, but I definitely love to watch them. And so they're very dedicated. They go out and do like all year round. So if that's something that you're interested in, I think Newman would be a great place for you. Fun fact about Missouri Southern, there are lots of them actually. Um, most students do not realize, and if you don't like snakes, you're not gonna like what I have to say, but um, we do have a reptile lab here on campus where they have a variety of different snakes. So they use those to, to study. And along the lines with biology, we actually have a working well on our campus, which they just discovered like a year or two ago. So they're actually using that well water to um, do their experiments and things in biology. So just an interesting fact, we set, we set where an old farm used to set. So there's all kinds of interesting discoveries. So on our campus, we actually have a cadaver lab. Um, I think we're one of the only schools on this side of the state that has one. So it's really awesome for the students, especially taking a and 2 classes and a and 1 to kind of get that experience um, and go in there. I myself have not gone in there. I don't think I can <laughs> uh, make myself go in there, but yeah, it's really awesome for those students who kind of get that experience if they're interested in the medical field. <laughs> Okay, so mine is kind of new news, but we just got a mascot yesterday unveiled. So I'm gonna show you, I hope you can see it here, but we are now the NCK Tech Trailblazers and we're very excited um, for what that's gonna bring us. And um, we put a lot of thought into the, into the bull idea and being trailblazers for your future. So we're excited to unveil that. Nice. Again, thank you all for, for responding. Um, I learned a lot of new things. I'm sure all of our attendees did as well. Um, with that said, that concludes our college fair for today. But I do have a few closing announcements. Um, so as you exit from the Zoom session, a survey will appear. It's approximately four questions or so, but please complete the survey. It is very helpful for us as we aim to improve our virtual college fair offerings in the future. Also want to remind you that you can sign up for additional sessions by visiting our registration site. And finally, a recording will be made available within about a week or so. Um, and so to access that recording, visit tribescan.com slash Kansas. With that said, I wanna thank all of our amazing presenters for joining us. We really appreciate you all being here, but also to our attendees, thank you for joining us. I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>